Good evening and welcome to Girlfriend Minute. I am Char. And I'm Pascal. How are you today, Pascal? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. That's good. Good. How was your week? How was your day? Weeks have been long at work. Um, mm-hmm. All the change and always wondering what's coming next. It's just everyone's on edge. It makes it unpleasant. Very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's stressful. Everyone's kind of on edge and kind of snipping at each other. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you ask management a question. I had asked them a question in their survey monkey, like, I don't know, the week before our last meeting, it takes us so many days to respond. We have to weed through them. I never got an answer. We, you know, we have like 200 employees. How many, how many days does it take to respond? Must, must take 200 days. (laughs) Right. You know, so Soon, Survey Monkey will be back out, and I will be re-asking <laughs> the same exact question because I saved them. <laughs> yes, because I just, you know, I'm gonna be pushing buttons because I, it's only fair. So I think, yeah. yeah, I just think some of it's dirty, and I think some of it's sneaky, and um, and I'm sure it is, and I'm sure. Oh they're... yeah. They're doing it um, intentional. Exactly. You know, if you leave, they don't have to pay you unemployment. And, exactly. You know, and then it helps them not have to tell you we're you know, getting rid of this part of your department. Yep. That saves them ta- from talking too much. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, and then today, you know, it's warming up and I took this coming Monday off. I asked my boss the other day, my supervisor, I'm like, you know, I'm always here. She's like, I know. We're supposed to ask two weeks out for a day okay. off. Yeah. Uh, I was like, can I just not come in Monday? And she said, sure. Right. So I have Monday off. Nice. And I uh, uncovered my jet skis the other night and I started them up. They started right up, which always makes me feel good. Nice. And because uh, they've been sitting for the winter and there was water in their foot wells. And even though they're covered, their canvas, water still gets in. So I wet back them out and and I dried them and I recovered them and I just have to fuel them Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going, the weather better be nice Monday (laughs) or I will be at work. But if the weather is beautiful, I will be out on the water for my first day this year on, on Monday and taking a day off from going in. Absolutely. So, How fun. Uh, then today, and because I had planned jet ski day for myself, I um, I get waxed. I don't shave my legs anymore. So I go get waxed. So today was my first waxing of 2024. <laughs> <laughs> and then my Congratulations. daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Well, You're welcome. Very scary. So <laughs> <laughs> the dogs were starting to question the legs. Um, what's happening here? <laughs> you joining the pack, mom. <laughs> right. But um, uh, the great grandparents were babysitting the babies today, so I went, got waxed nice. after work. Then I drove back to Largo, picked up the babies, then I drove them to Tarpon, not Tarpon, Tampa, and um, I got home. I don't know, ten o'clock ish or so. Okay. I had been gone all day, so I had a long day. Yeah, I was gonna say that is a long day, but at least yeah. you got to see the babies. I did get to see the babies for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So it's exciting. Well, I scheduled finally a spa day for myself, um, but that's not going to be until May. And but it's close to my birthday. So I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. Um, And it's going to be an all day thing. Um, and it's going to be at Hershey Chocolate Spa. They have a chocolate spa? Yeah. Why did I not know this when I was there? I'm going to smell so good. People are going to want to eat me. <laughs> uh, I oh want a chocolate God. spa day. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. And so what you do is you actually go and you sit in a um, a bath that is <gasps> made, made of, out of milk and chocolate. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. How much better can it get? You're going to tell me in a minute. <laughs> and then and then they oh. after that, you go and you get scrubbed. So basically, they kind of wash your entire body with this big, large shower, and you get a fondue wrap. No. Yes. 
I'm Monica. Exciting. <laughs> oh, I wish you were here, man. Oh. We would so do it. And then um, in the beginning, though, we're going to have lunch at the what they call the Oasis. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after we do all of those treatments, then we get a nice massage. And I think there's one more thing after that, and I can't really remember offhand, but after that, the massage petty? is the last thing. No, petty? we don't no. get a petty, but you can if you wanted yeah. to add it to your thing. But well, I mean, it, it gets pretty expensive. So Well, it's like our spa here I, I that everyone goes to. Um, <clears throat> what is it called? Safety Harbor. Yeah, it's pretty. It's nice. Everyone's like, oh, you buy their packages and deals. And every time I look at their packages and deals, I don't think it's a great deal. Sorry. I don't think it's <laughs> worth four hundred dollars. Right. You know. Yeah. Well, no, this I, one, this one's about the same price. It's a little I, over well, I 400. I for chocolate. <laughs> but it's it's all chocolate. Like you get yeah. 30 minutes in the bath. They'll sit oh. you in there for 30 minutes. They give you something to drink. They give you a little Hershey kiss. And then you sit and, you know, you just relax and, and everything is dark. And then they, they put these lights on in the tub and, like, you can see through. And it's it's just, it's great. I mean, I've done it before. Um, and it's been years since since I've done it. And yeah. I was like, I'm going to do it this time, this year. You That's should. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I figure if I pull out, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there every week, yeah, I'll be fine, you know. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like I'm spending it all in one shot. So yeah, and I think I I'm mean, going to take my daughter with me, too. That's nice. Oh, that'll be nice for her. Yeah. A break. Yeah, she needs it. She needs yeah. a break from the kids for a little bit. Yeah, I get that. So, yeah, so, no, I, I like spa day, but I just, you know. I get a facial once every month, Mm -hmm. hair done once every month, and I get my toes done every three weeks. So I'm, it'd have to be a really good deal for me to go to spa day. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Or the whole chocolate experience that I would pay for. Oh, my God. When I'm telling you, I'm like, oh, my God, this is like definitely meant for, for us to do this because... I just, I'm so looking forward to it. I need it. Um, I need to relax. Um, look, I'm just looking it up right now to see what, oh, it's a whipped cocoa bath. Oh, good grief. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. So, Man. yeah, l- we get lunch at the Oasis. Then we get, it's called the Chocolate Escape Package. And it's a cocoa bath to begin with, and then a chocolate sugar scrub, and then a fondue wrap, a chocolate fondue wrap, and then a cocoa massage for 50 minutes. Oh, geez. Yes, I cannot wait. I am so Uh, in it. I I would imagine you are. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you know, time, time has been flying like crazy lately, and... The more you think about it, we're almost going to be halfway through the year already. I know. I and know. where has the time gone? And I'm I like, you know, know, if I don't if I don't schedule it and do it, I'm never going to freaking do it. So no, you do, do have to, you do. You do have to schedule and do or you won't do. No. Yeah, I I, I know. It's yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I definitely get it. It's uh, I was talking to a patient today and it's just how crazy. It is. How did we get to, we're approaching the last week in March, you know, I mean, just, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's nuts. Like today we were working today and then the next thing I know it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, where the heck did the time go? Yeah. And, um, then it became nine o'clock at night and I'm like, holy cow, like what happened? The whole day we were busy. We were, you know, it's, um, it was a long day today, yeah. <laughs> but I know not a, a long, long day, day, if that makes sense. Well, the time flies, but when you have a lot packed into it, you know, I, like I said, I went and worked all day and I was just mentally all week, all, just for the last, I don't know how many weeks my brain's just been hurting and yeah. I'm lucky to make it to noon before I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. I just, I'm done. I just want to go curl up in a ball and go to bed. And, yes. um, there might be a little bit of depression in there too. I don't know, but, um, uh, 
and then, you know, I go get waxed and that's 30 minutes north of where I work and then okay. drive all the way back to Largo, grab the babies and then drive all the way to Tampa. That's 45 minutes one way. Yeah. So, you know, it was a long day. I, I ate a bowl of cereal for dinner at 10 o'clock and I don't typically do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had two hard boiled eggs for lunch. There's are 70 calories each. So, you know, that was my calorie intake for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Or the two well, sometimes eggs. I do it, yeah. You know, so I, I do the something. same thing sometimes. That's I just had a PB and J. I was just talking about it earlier. I was like, I didn't eat anything like all day. I didn't really sit down and have a meal, and I was yeah. like, okay, that's it. I need like something. Yeah. So well, and you did. Yeah, and it's you easy. Did. Something it's easy. easy. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. There's nothing it is wrong good with stuff. That. No. There's nothing wrong with it at all. No, not at all. So, mm. yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to get through the days. And uh, I took Monday off, and I'm looking forward to that. And um, That's I exciting. Gotta, I got to go back Tuesday. Yeah, I know. Well, don't think about that. Just think about your jet skis and how fun you're going to, how much fun you're going to have out, out out there on the water. So, yeah, yeah forget about Tuesday. And I joined... <laughs> I went, I found a different Pilates place. So I'm back in Pilates and I'm very happy about that. Oh, good. I missed my reformer table. I've been to two classes in the last two weeks. Okay, so, good. Very yeah, good. Yeah. So I'm, I, uh, yeah, I've been sore the last two weeks. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. You get used to it. <laughs> you know, but I've enjoyed it. So, yeah, so. That's I've good. enjoyed that's, that. And that's a little stress relief. And then, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. My stress relief is a, like I'm going to punch somebody in the face in here. That's my stress well, relief. Well, that's that's during the day. Again, <coughs> you know, some of my coworkers just <laughs> like to make noise to make noise. So the <laughs> clicking of the tongue. Oh, my God. For no God. reason. And, and then the pen. Taking a sip and going. <sighs> Why? Because it's intentional and she knows we're listening and it drives us crazy. That's and like then the clicking you're of the pen. Yes. Three years old. Like I when you're know three it. years and, old, and you want to get attention to your uh to your parents, you're like and, <sighs> and she's gonna be sixty in May. Oh, so Okay, yay, yeah. yay for that. Yeah. And every time she walks by my cubicle, she reaches her arm in and hits my door. I'm like, well, you know, I'm on the phone. I'm doing things. Why? Why? <laughs> well, Why? it's OK. Pretty soon. Pretty soon you'll be on your way to doing your own thing. So I went to, I went in the back yesterday and I my one x-ray tech was sitting down. She has an injured foot and she was kind of mm-hmm. taking a break. And the other one, he's sitting there and I just put my head on the back of the chair. And he's like, what's the matter? I'm like, I'm like, there's too many women in a small spot. He says, is there too much estrogen out there for you? I'm like, there is. <laughs> right? I'm like, there is. <laughs> He's laughing. It can get that way. It really oh, can my, get that it, way. I'm not made for it. <laughs> no. I can't do it all the time like that. I used to. There was the, one moment where I was like in your shoes, like where you're at right now. And we each had our own little cubicle and stuff like that. But it was way too many women around. I'm like, oh, oh my God. It, it it truly is too many women. And um and uh and I love them all. They're all they're of I course. Do. Of they course. They all, you know, we all band together and help one another when needed and we all know how to have a good laugh. But for me, dealing with the unknown and what I'm watching and what I think is happening. And it, it just, these little things are it's just on top of, you know. They're the magnified. Already, they're magnified. And, yeah. and then I just feel like I need a mental break. And my cousin and I normally try to do a trip in the spring. She's really busy with house builds and some equipment sales and stuff right now. So she couldn't go sure. right now. So she's mm-hmm. like in the fall. So we are going in the beginning of October for a week, but okay. that's a ways away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need something like now. Yeah. So, you know, anyways, it is. We'll what get it in is. the car, drive halfway. I'll get in my car, drive halfway. Well, and we'll meet in the middle. Okay. Yeah, of course I will. I don't care. I'll get I'll get somebody over here to to stay here. And if not, I'll shut it down for a couple of days. You know, 
Yeah, sometime you that need it. That would be fun. I've actually never thought about doing that. We're Wouldn't it be? To, that would be fun. We're going to have to think about that and, and look at that. And look at, yeah, look at mm-hmm. where exactly halfway would be and mm-hmm. just do it. And just do it. Yeah. We'll have to look into that. And yes, see. we will. Definitely. And, yeah. And I'm Definitely. sure there's food and booze there, so we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. hundred percent. And if not, we'll bring our own. Bring, bring our own. <laughs> You bring the grape leaves, I'll bring the rum. <laughs> there we go. There we go. See, what more party can you have actually have? That's all you need. Rum right. and grape leaves. Who knew? Rum and grape leaves, right? <laughs> it's the little things. It's the little yeah. things. Yeah. So, but yeah. Well, what do you so. have for us this week? I asked the question, how do you handle aging with grace? Mm. I asked that question because as we approach 51 and we are always talking about taking care of ourselves and how we're 50 and the things we do, I thought it might be something a little different on what women are doing and how they, you know, handle aging with grace. Okay. And what kind of answers did you have? Uh, I had a variety. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, One is uh, fighting it, color my hair. Use okay. all the moisturizer and work out every single day. All the moisturizer yeah. in the world? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm right there with her. I love moisturizer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I mean, I don't, I don't cake it on like that, though. It's no. only like after my baths and I do moisturize my whole body and then I have special one for my face and. Um, stuff like that, but I I really do love a, a good bath. So moisturizers and I like that. Yeah. Well, I um I use I make my own moisturizer. Okay. Uh, I use hemp oil and I add essential oils to it. So I don't buy store bought anything for that. And um, I swear it's the best. It absorbs into the skin. It also helps hair grow. So if you want to keep your eyebrows nice and all that stuff, castor oil, all that stuff. Is good for you. It's been used for a million years. Uh, it's not oily in the sense that people think, oh, you're sleeping in oil. No, your skin absorbs it. It's a moisturizer. You can even put it in your hair, you know, and sleep in it. Mm. It's a great conditioner. That sounds good. You'll have to give me the recipe for that. I just can't and, put it down here on my chin because I'm already growing hair there. I don't need any extra hair there. <laughs> Laser hair removal. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah. doing it. I'm trying. They just won't go freaking away. <laughs> I I'm just want to hang out. <laughs> sometimes you have to get the professional grade because there is a difference. There and is a so, difference. Yeah. yeah. So maybe yeah. a few zappies with the professional grade. With the darker hair people like us, yeah. it works great. Yeah. I'm told. I'll have to try it. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll I, see uh, if I get that far. If I, I'll just grow a beard. Who cares? Oh, stop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't. I can never do that. No, no. And I, I don't work out every single day. I'm trying to get back in the habit of walking. I used to walk Roscoe every day. And then after he passed, um, I kind of stopped walking. Yeah. And uh, so I did take them for a walk. Not last night, the night before. And yeah, very good. I spelled it and they still remember how to spell. And uh <laughs> They flew See? off the furniture and they started barking and bouncing. I'm like, okay. Oh, so they we, were so excited. I'm like, W-A-L-K. And they're like. <laughs> huh? Huh? What? <laughs> Did she really say that? <laughs> She's spelling Did again. really spell it out? Here Next I'll be what? doing sign language. <laughs> Then they'll just stay where they are. I don't yeah, think they'll, <laughs> they'll probably learn the signs. The probably. one will teach the other one. Probably. That's a W. That's a, yeah. I know that's a W. <laughs> yeah. um, someone wrote, eat healthy, increased activity, exercise, take supplements, socialize with family and friends, get outdoors, take good care of my skin. Well, I do those things. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I am a supplement queen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you open my kitchen cabinet. It looks like a supplement pharmacy. And um, I eat fairly <laughs> healthy, you know, minus the bowl of cereal tonight. And, yeah, uh, yeah I socialize all day long with people. <laughs> <laughs> Try 
check, I do check, get out, check, check. <laughs> I do get outdoors. I do like the sun and the salt water. It's the best yeah. therapy. I can just ride for hours and I don't have to it see is, anything spectacular. It? I can just... I can just go. Um, oh, my God. When I was visiting you guys and I was down there, I just had, like, the time of my life. I mean, minus that I fell on my back and I couldn't really move that crazy. But um, well, just being in the sun. Yeah, just being in the sun and then riding the jet skis with you and then, yeah. like, being out in the we went ocean. went to Venice. I took you to Venice Beach. Yes, that was great. We had we a had, great time there. We just both chilled. Yeah. Yeah. We took a time just for ourselves. So yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was great. It was a lot of fun. So yes. Um, someone wrote Botox and fillers. Oh, yeah, that I will never be doing. So <laughs> me neither. I'm sorry. If that's no. okay for you, then that's good. But I will never do that to my face. No, no, I thank just, you. I just don't have it in me. I, I don't care what people say. You don't know how you're going to react to something. Exactly. So, you know, nine out of 10 people are fine with it. I'm the one that's not, <laughs> most mm. likely. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that's going to have a weird, strange reaction or some weird thing happen, or I'm going to have like half paralyzed face right? or some crap. And I just, to me, it's it's terrifying. Like having my kids, I did it naturally. I'm like, you're not sticking that needle in between the air pockets of the vertebrae oh, in my back I and know. hoping for the best. It ain't I happening. Know. It ain't happening. I don't care how many years you've been doing this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah no, that's so. that's something that I'm right there with you. If it will happen, it's going to happen to me, too. So maybe yeah. me and you will be right next to each other we'll sitting in the bed. We'll be next to each other. <laughs> right? I mean, I went, to go have, I went to go have LASIK, okay, oh, yeah. so yeah. that I didn't have to wear glasses. That was back in 2004. Yeah. And it lasted a good long time okay yeah. until recently where like i have noticed that i couldn't see while driving at night and stuff like that so. minor details <laughs> minor details you know just crash it's okay no <laughs> drive drive by uh, sound <laughs> right <laughs> roll your windows down now <laughs> no. so i did that and i was out of 10 people that day I was the only one that felt like needles were jabbing me in my freaking eyes. Oh, geez. Yes. That was the most horrible afterwards that I've ever had with anything. Like my eyes got so puffy and I was in so much pain right after I got home. And it was like, like, I don't know. It, my face just got all swollen and stuff like that. So it's like, like a monster. I was looking I like, holy cow. Yeah. And then I, then when I went, because you're supposed to go the next day to go and so that the doctor can check your sight and, yeah, the and pressure and all that. Correct. Just, yeah. And um, we were all sitting in the waiting room and I'm, I looked around and I'm like, well, did any of you guys have any issues or problems? And they're like, no, no, one after the freaking <laughs> other. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> Just so I guess time. I was the only one. Right, yeah. No, that would be me. Yeah. That would be me. I'd be right there with you going, yeah, I, I got what she got. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah, well, we uh, went together. See what happens? <laughs> yeah. Someone yeah, no, wrote I will never just... do that. Someone wrote, just accept it. Well, I want you to understand the difference between accepting it and taking care of yourself, too. Right. I'm just taking care of myself. Well, and that's the most important and thing. The cleanest way that I can. Correct. Healthy. And I prefer that. I don't like store-bought lotions. I feel like they're thick and clogging and my skin doesn't like I just don't like them. And I've right. tried all the expensive ones down to the organic ones in the store. And I don't like even some of the ones in the store. So I just started making my own so yeah and it works for you I accept that I'm aging but I also um going to take care of myself during the process so exactly you're not just gonna let yourself go no um yeah I'm, and I do the same thing I do masks and you know I take care of like my skin and stuff like that um mind you I'm on top of a grill all day long so it's like 
all that heat and grease and nastiness. The greasy residue, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah. Every, every week I make it a habit that I really scrub my face and clean my face and, you know, do all that. Plus, I'm very oily on top of that. So. I'm oily, too. So oil That's cancels what oil. Doesn't that help you? Yeah, it does. It helps keep you young. That's Please, for sure. girl, we're going to stay young forever. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I am oily and and I've always had breakout issues and I'll tell you what once I learned that oil cancels oil and I learned that from my first esth- yeah. esthetician who turned out to be a little crazy but she did teach me some good things she she did turn out to be crazy I'm not just saying that when you stalk oh people you are a little crazy <laughs> so um yeah so I stepped away from that situation but she was a great esthetician and she used to pick on me for organic. And then she started using organic products and making stuff. And she's like, oh, my God, you're so right. But yeah. oil cancels oil. So I am less oily because I wash my face with castor oil and Dermaquest cleansing oil mixed together. And then I use another cleanser on top of it. And sometimes I yeah. use an exfoliator or a vitamin C exfoliator. I vary those. Yeah, me too. And, I use um, very similar. and then I use the hemp oil. My skin absorbs that. It, I'm less oily. I used to be able to do this to my eyebrows and the oil was just... Mm-hmm. you know right across my eyelids and it just mm-hmm. was yeah in that's the morning. me on so, my nose because I got a big know, ass nose and my nose gets oily so yeah. when you use oil not you know fryer oil but other oils <laughs> are you sure <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure um it helps you control and regulate it and I've been okay. controlling and regulating it for like eight or nine years now and it's been great and I, oh, I wish good. I had known that when I was younger well, yeah, I wish I known a lot of things when I was younger, but yeah, um, know, right? but that's good though. Maybe one I'll, of many. <laughs> yes, maybe yeah, I'll have so. to see if I can start making it like you and and seeing if that kind of you know helps out a little bit, especially I'll being over top recipe. of the grill. I'll give you okay. the recipe, and I want you to know I do not share the recipe with anyone. <gasps> I've not shared that it. That makes anyone. me special. I have made it for <laughs> others. I have made oh, okay. it for others. And given them bottles. I have all the little blue bottles because you refrigerate it. You keep it refrigerated. Sure. With the dropper in it. I bought sure. a whole bunch. And I make a b- batch and I give one out if you want it, you know. Yeah, you should make them You're and not sell here. them. You're not here for me to give I you know. Ones. You so. should make them and sell them. That's a great job. And a little way, a little bit goes a long way. So. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it, it's. You know, I only make it like twice a year for myself. It's just a little blue glass. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Very good. So I yeah. also make my own toner. I buy the rose water and I add essential oils to that. Yes. So rose water. I just, the, yeah. Yeah, I just use the rose water. So that's. The essential oils help cleanse. Yeah. I use exfoliating rounds. You should always okay. keep always exfoliate 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 so yeah i'm exfoliating with the different cleansers i use i exfoliate when i use the rounds and i'm balancing out my ph again after all the cleaning yeah. and yeah so it's yeah continuous... i love rose water I yeah love it. and i i add essential oils to different ones than what i add to the hemp oil mm-hmm. so when you're really... hot and when you're like very very hot um uh, mm-hmm or you have a fever or anything, spraying rose water on your face will cool you down. Yeah. Well, what I always do, what whenever I had a fever growing up, my mom gave me a lukewarm shower around right, right mm-hmm. your head. It mm-hmm. cools it. It top, drops your temperature degrees in a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's what I do when I have like a. Like a really bad. Uh, yeah. If you're yeah. heat hot, I bet that does feel good. Yeah. If you're heat hot. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, someone wrote by taking care of my skin and looking at least 10 years younger than I actually am. Oh, and having a 26 year old lover certainly helps. <laughs> I like her. Who is that? And she's a friend of mine. And, um, <clears throat> let me see if it tells you how old she is on well, having a young lover in general really does keep you young i mean you know i don't recommend it for everybody but oh my gosh she's a few years younger than us she's born since 75 oh okay so she's dating somebody you, half her age do you think she looks younger than us no no i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry you don't <laughs> perspective <laughs> <laughs> I do love her but 
Um, anyways, I'm sorry. No, but I agree with her on the sense that she, um, you know, having somebody who you're dating who's younger kind of keeps the sparks going. So you kind of make you feel good when you feel good. You feel younger. So, you know, yeah, I'm there's sure. that. <laughs> she does. There's that. <laughs> There is that. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sure that does help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever look in the mirror and not and not think about it. About getting older? I don't know. That's all they said. So you could take it a few different ways. You don't ever look in the mirror, and I guess they don't ever think about it. Well, okay. I'm well, sure how do you floss? Do you brush your teeth? I'm not. I'm confused. <laughs> I just, I, well, maybe they just do it without looking in the mirror. I mean, I I could too, but I always look in the mirror. I don't know. I do too. I always look in the mirror, especially when I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah. I just look and I'm like, okay, did you get that side and that yeah. side? Okay, you're good. All right, good. <laughs> Everything covered. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, so, I I don't know about that one. I mean, you would eventually have to look in the mirror at some point in time. I mean, well, someone's looking in the mirror. I mean, you got to look and see what your hair looks like. You got to look. At well, it. yeah. Did I comb it today? Did right. It combed? <laughs> exactly. I mean, exactly. mine doesn't half the time and I do. So whatever. <laughs> Well, I mean, sometimes I get lucky with my curly hair, so I just kind of can get up out of bed and be like, oh, okay, I'll just prop it up, and bam, I Here got a new go. look. <laughs> right? Uh, someone wrote, not sure about handling it, but I'm fighting it mentally and physically. Yeah, I, for some people, it's hard, you know. When when they get older, it's very hard to um, accept that you are reaching an age that, Back in the day, used to be old, you know? Yeah. We're not old now because now old is like in your 90s. But back yeah. in the day, you know, old was in your like 55. <gasps> You're so old. Or 60. I know. So when, old. when we were 18 or 15 and someone was 40, you were like, oh, my God. Right? What am I going to be like when I'm 40? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then it's like now, though, um, I think as we're getting older, the uh, 50 is the new 40. Yeah, you know. You know, because people are taking really, care of themselves a yeah, lot better. We're not, we're not really picking on one another. But if you're taking care of yourself, kudos to you. Yeah. I mean, some people don't. I actually had a patient the other day who was only three years older than me. Mm-hmm she looked way older than that and it's not to be mean it's I can tell she had a history she had a history and it was showing well there's a there's one lady that comes in here and she comes in here with her husband and her we are the same age okay um but because she smokes cigarettes a lot and they drink a lot and stuff like that like you could see it on her face you know, and if they did drugs and stuff. You see it even more. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So it, it is the lifestyle that you um, that you live. So but My, yeah, um, but some of them it's it's they don't they don't accept it. They don't like to yeah. accept that they're getting older. And we I, and I certainly don't look like I did when I was 19. Well, and you're not going to. It's not no. like you're reaching that. So oh, I'm going to. But look. by the same token, we're aging well. We don't look like we're 90 at 50. Oh, we don't like the, we don't look like the crypt keeper. <laughs> no, we don't. No, so not picking on anybody who thinks that they, you know, like people are like, they're so shocked when they find out that I have two grandbabies and that my youngest baby is 26. And I'm yeah. like, thank you. I'm like, and then I'm always like, how old do you think I am? And I get age ranges anywhere from 30 to early 40s. Yeah. And I'm always shocked, but it's always in that age range. And, yeah. uh, and I'm just always shocked that really, you think I look that young? Thank you. I'll take it. You yeah. Know, maybe 45, but they're like, oh, 42. I'm like, I yeah. love you. Right. <laughs> you single? <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. No. <laughs> just kidding. How old are but, you? 24? Ooh. You know, we have Cougar. to laugh, laugh at ourselves, you know. 
Yeah. And I'm good at laughing at myself because it is what it is. But, you know, I mean, I am fortunate. I do, I do have yeah. my mom's, I think, good genetics, too. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not, not wrinkly. No, she that's was, good. Well, at 77, her Italian skin was stuff. like this. Yeah. 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 You got, a, you got a lot of Italian in you, too. So um, Italians um, and us Mediterranean people um, mm-hmm. because of our diets and stuff like that that we have we don't I'm not saying everybody no. some people um, but we don't um, age fast like our face actually doesn't show it the yeah. years will go but the face is not going to show how old you are it. yeah not to say that it won't eventually catch up. I have done a sure. lot of time in the sun. <laughs> sure. Over the years. <laughs> yeah, it, it will eventually, but I think it's going to take a lot of time. And that's why you're taking care of your face and you're putting the oils and doing, you know, everything that you can. So, yeah, well, I just feel better doing it. I don't even yeah. think of it as I'm preventing wrinkles or anything because I don't know mm. that I am. Because I do have good genetics. My mom was right. not wrinkly. At 77, the woman didn't have wrinkles. And That's she didn't good. do fillers. She didn't go to the doctor. She wasn't on any medications. That's you know, awesome. You know, so I I have, I'm very fortunate. I hope it continues for me that way. But right? you know, um, <laughs> I'm just taking care of what I was given. That's all I'm right. trying to do. And what will be, will be, you know. Yeah. Um, well, and I'm not going to lie. If a 24-year-old turns his head and looks at me <laughs> and thinks I'm hot as hell. I'll take it. Right. <laughs> hey, well, you know, it is I'll take what it, it. is. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm sure having a younger lover does help. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know how graceful I am about it, but I fight it every step of the way. I won't let my hair turn gray. I don't let mine either. I like still being a brunette. It's not vanity. I just like seeing all that brown. I do. I don't want to be a blonde. I don't want highlights. I just want to be my brunette self. So I get that. I take care of my skin. I do too. Fighting Mm. gravity by lifting weights and activities. So my ass doesn't (laughs) sag (laughs) down to my legs, down my legs, lots of good supplements for my body and mind. I'll never act my age either. Where's the fun in that? I'll always be my silly self. And I think that helps aging too. And that's true. I it think is, so, too. It, I think so, too. Is, when they say age is just a number, I tell people that all the time. Mm-hmm. Age is just a number. You do have to take care of yourself. You can't drink every day and think at 60, you're not going to have some kind of gut or you're not going to see well, yeah, exactly. some effects of it. It's, you know, and, you know, just because I say that because I have friends that age who are like, I only have one gin and tonic a day. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that your organs don't filter that. That's fine because no, it's only one no. a day. Yeah, yeah but yeah, just I one. mean, it's just you know, I I like being a brunette. I don't want to be gray. I'm sure one day I won't mind it, but I'm not there yet. It is just a number. I like being what a I'm brunette. Yeah. A brunette. Yeah, you know, and I uh, I like I have... taking care of myself and I like feeling good. So that's yeah. where it comes from. I'm not I have gray hairs coming in on my on my right side here and I actually like it. Yeah. Um the only di- the only problem with it is it's it's not complete. So like it's not like you know how some people have like these patches but mm-hmm. it's like a whole patch of white or gray. Yeah. I, I don't have that. It's just here and here and here and here and here and I have and so, it throughout. Yeah. 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 I missed my last appointment so you can see. <laughs> I I go tomorrow morning. I go tomorrow morning. Yeah, I got to yeah. I got to do mine too. Mine is mine is like a dark brown. It's yeah. it's um I I like myself to be a little bit lighter. I just mm-hmm. think um because of my shade, it just suits me better. So Well, my hair naturally has always faded the more time I'm in the sun. My ends yeah. will turn blonde, but they do it naturally. They did it as a kid, mm-hmm. middle school, high school. I miss that. I miss you know, that. <gasps> it still does it. So yes. even though I get it colored, they color it to my roots, my dark roots, not the gray ones. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they'll pull it through some every other color all the way to the roots, but they let it fade and do its natural thing in the summer. So my hair really doesn't, I don't think, look colored because I let it right. kind of do its thing and I don't try to force highlights and things because I just well, don't want yeah. it. No. I don't I don't want it. It's not me. It doesn't suit me. I don't think it looks like me. It's not who I am. I'm supposed yeah. to be a brunette, so I will remain a brunette for as long as I decide to be. 
There you so, go. Uh, someone else wrote staying away from Botox and shitty plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the opposite. Yeah. Well, there's always going to be one those. is having it, and the other one, one is doing the opposite. The opposite. Yeah. That's what makes the world go round. It is, and I agree yeah. with that one because no plastic anything is going in any well, part of my body unless I absolutely need it. Well, and that's the thing. It would have to be medically necessary. Correct. Uh, Gravity is always going to win. So you can do all the fillers you want, spend all the money and time you want, and your body's still going to do what it does naturally, and gravity's going to win. Mm -hmm. Except know. if you have implants and then your boobies will just be right up there. And, but then everyone. Okay, and so everything female, else is melting. <laughs> as a female, I used to play a game with one of my other co-workers, yeah. a female. Well, she used to work in New York City and she used to work for the magazine. So she actually was really good at critiquing. So it was always like, how many people are coming in today with facelifts? Let's count because <laughs> of where we worked or how many people. Um, yeah, so you could always tell the older ladies, you know, you look at their hands and their hands yeah. are older and their face is pulled tight. Yeah. And this is older and you're just like, it doesn't match. And then you see their boobs up here. It's like, okay, it really doesn't match. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and she would point it all out to me. Well, I never thought about doing any of that till she showed me. She taught me. <laughs> oh my God. So now when they're older, I'm like, does their neck and face and arms match? <laughs> right. That, no, it's true. The skin You're right. texture. And then if you yeah. look closely, you can see the scarring right around the edge of the hairline and stuff. But yeah, yeah so she pointed all that out because she used to work for Glamour magazine and all those back in the day in New York City. And that's all stuff that they look at and see and how to of hide. Of course. And, you yeah, know, course and it was do. interesting to listen to her and, and watch. And then, you know. It, then it became to see who came in who didn't have any because it was more of an <laughs> odds that they had something right. versus had nothing, especially right. in the area we were working. So, yeah, and it wasn't to be mean. It was just like I, I never paid attention. I never realized. I never thought yeah. about it. Well, you know? you know, Lebanon is like on the top of the list, I think one of the top five um, places where you can go and do any kind of plastic surgery beside Turkey. Turkey is number one, I believe, because really? they, they do those routinely. Um, and everybody looks the same. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like thinking to myself, why would you want to look like everybody else? God didn't make you that way. No. He made everybody different for a reason. You got to embrace who you are. Yeah. And we are our worst critics. Of course, there are things on me I would change. But mm -hmm. I also work in the field I work in. I am really fortunate. <laughs> and I'm really lucky. <laughs> yes. And, you know, so, no. Well, some I, of the things that I see that people go through, like when they put their little bodices on and stuff like that, like, and then they have some of them um have like holes in their skin because things went wrong and yeah. then it's yeah. like they have all these scars and no. like why would you put yourself through all that uh, I, no. I don't get it and um you know someone told me that who works in the hospital that recovering from a facelift is actually pretty brutal mm -hmm. it's not an easy thing to recover from with the drain tubes and different things I'm just yeah. like oh when you, well, people aren't meant to have drain tubes in them I'm sorry Right. You no, know, and there's nothing we're gonna completely love about ourselves. So if you want to make and change your skin texture, you need to exfoliate and moisturize with high quality moisturizers, not the crap you buy just off the shelf. Yeah, exactly. You gotta buy something your skin's more absorbable and compatible with, and give it its best. You know. Yeah, and if you uh, choose care. to go under the knife, that's fine. Nobody's saying you can't, or nobody's questioning you or judging you if you did or didn't. But please. Make sure that you do your homework on those doctors that you are going to go see. For the love of God, please. just please do that. Because sometimes going a cheap way isn't worth it. And sometimes paying a guy a wazoo amount of money isn't even worth it either. So their history, their homework, and and don't just go overseas because, oh, so-and-so is doing it. Oh, oh, and they're doing it every day. They do like 10,000 of them a day. Right. No, that doesn't mean Did that they're good. Did you check on that patient in six weeks to see what they look like? Yeah, exactly. That doesn't mean that they're good. I had yeah. a friend of mine 
I'll give you an example. And it wasn't anything for a facelift or anything like that. So he was a little bit um, on the pudgy side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even his body. It was just his stomach. So, you know, men, when they diet, they tend to lose weight faster than women, obviously. And so all I told him was maybe you should, you know, change your eating habits a little bit. Don't eat really, really late at night after six o'clock. Stop eating and watch how your stomach's going to go down. Well, he thought about it and he's like, no, I can't do that. Why can't you do that? I've never heard of such a thing. So he chose the route to go to Turkey. Oh, good Lord. And he went to Turkey to get his uh, stomach reduced. Oh, yeah. So he did that. And yes, he did lose the weight and everything. But at what cost? Mm. Now, when he came back to the United States, he ended up getting a uh, fungus in his esophagus. Oh, Jesus. And he had to stay in the hospital for 10 days. Uh. And they had to feed him through like a tube. Uh, to make sure that he ate and everything. So was it really all that worth it? No. Was it worth it for what? Because you had a gut that you could have lost well, in like, I have, you know, naturally. I have, I have guy friends who say, you know, I just wish I could use lose this gut. Well, stop drinking every day. Exactly. Well, I drink this. This has no calories. You're still drinking. It's still alcohol. It's still Correct. there's something in it that's, you know. Just stop. Don't eat yeah. dinner at nine o'clock at night and go to bed at ten. Right. You know. Well, and that, stop that... complaining if you're not going to make the adjustments to make it better for yourself. Right, and that's what this guy was doing. You know, he was eating late, really late at night. It'll be like, like you said, nine, ten o'clock, and yeah. you know, he'll get home, he'll sit down and eat like this whole big dish of whatever, rice and meat and what have you, and then. Then what? Then you're going to sit up, watch TV. You're not going to digest properly. And then you're just sitting. Mm -hmm. You're not moving around. You're not burning off the calories. So how do you expect to lose weight? You know? No. And, if and you don't now, exercise, till now. And they're like, well, I'm active at home and through my work. Well, that's your norm. You got to do Correct. something to change that metabolism. Exactly. It can't be your norm. No, because then it equals out. Yeah, it equals it out change. and it just stays. Yeah, it doesn't stays change at the anything. Yeah. You know? Well, even till this day, this poor guy, he like he has problems eating. Like he'll come over here to the restaurant every once in a while, and he'll sit with me, and I'll give him a cup of coffee or something, and I'll be like, "Are you hungry?" And he's like, "Yeah, a little bit." So I'll make myself something to eat for lunch, and then you know he'll grab something, but then it hits him either, and then he can't drink while he's eating so he can't like take a sip of whatever water or whatever so he has to wait and then what happens he ends up getting this really really bad indigestion and then he suffers through it because it's very painful yeah it's not like regular indigestion where it's painful for a little bit no, you take something you're he okay had adjustments yeah exactly so was it he worth did damage it? no it's never worth it no Never worth it, you know. At some point, you know, when you're 90, you're still going to be getting that stuff done. You're going to look silly. <laughs> exactly. You know, and, you know. Exactly. It's one thing to exercise and do your best to maintain it and keep everything where it goes and whatnot. But I just, gravity's still going to win, dear. I mean. Oh, it is. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Someone wrote, I just laughed because aging is just that. It's just aging. Yeah. 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 Like just the number. It is. It is just a number. I have fun. I like to have fun. I think that's how I keep myself young. Like today, for example, my um my grandson came to visit and my daughter came and grabbed some food and the belly dancer was here. And so of course he'd never seen a belly dancer before in his life. <laughs> um and then he was just watching her dance. You know, she had all these like um, fans and she was twirling and the dress was going and, you know, the fans were going and he was just like, wow. Yeah. And he keeps me young because like I'll dance with him and, you know, just be silly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. And it does. You know, chasing the grandbabies keeps you young. I take them for walks, go to the mm -hmm. park. You know, I'm already thinking about his second birthday coming up. Uh, last mm -hmm. year, I took him to 
the zoo. I don't know if I'll take him to the zoo again because he won't yeah. remember it and he's older now and he's he'll be he's walking walking versus stumbling. Right. <laughs> and um because I took him on his actual birthday, or if I'll take him to the aquarium for something different this year. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, so. Yeah. I've already, I've already been thinking about it. I'm not doing some big party or anything. I'm, we're doing ex, an experience. I'm going to take right. him for an experience, so yeah. That's funny that you mentioned that. My daughter is going to do the same thing for Milo. Yeah. She's going to take him on an adventure rather than doing this whole big, huge party in the backyard thing. So. Yeah, what's she going to do? Um, I don't know exactly yet, but the aquarium, like you mentioned, was one of them because we have the Baltimore Aquarium over here so we can take him over there. Yeah. Um, she also mentioned about going to Pittsburgh. Uh, they have a lot of kids stuff over there um, that he can do. And uh, maybe I'll go with her for yeah. the weekend. Who knows? We'll yeah. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Um. Stay engaged, stay active. Just because you have enough money to live at leisure doesn't mean you do it. Take a part-time gig and eat right. And that's true. Don't, yeah. I'm wealthy. I'm going to sit here and do nothing. You have got to stay active. Absolutely. You have to keep your joints engaged and moving and that keeps them lubricated naturally. You have to stay active. Mm -hmm. You do. Yeah, I agree with that. I think if I was at home sitting down all day, like I, that would be so miserable. I can't even imagine doing that, to be honest. Well, what are you living for then? The television. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes I live for the television. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really late at night for me. And even then I'm like really already ready to go to bed. So my eyes are closed. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. Um, I just, uh, yeah, you got to stay active. You got to keep moving, especially if you have any kind arthritis of arthritis. Yeah, yeah. You know, people, uh, someone we went to school was like, oh, my rheumatologist says don't do stuff, just sit. I said, well, you need a new huh? rheumatologist because no rheumatologist would ever say no. that. Oh, I never heard of ever. one saying that. Well, that's just an excuse. That's all. Oh, yeah, no. My rheumatologist you gotta, you gotta always understand. tells me to keep moving. Yeah, you got to understand, I work for doctors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I, so who are you talking to? <laughs> I know stuff. I know that when a doctor orders a certain imaging and the diagnosis code doesn't match, that I have to call them and say, can you put the correct code to the <laughs> test, <laughs> please? Because this this doesn't match. This is no bueno. This is no, a... yeah, that was made up. Yeah, she had to have made that up. Sit oh, down no, she's and lying. don't do anything. She's lying. Get out of here. You, you don't sit down. You got to keep moving. You don't keep moving. You're asking for things to fall apart. You're asking for pain. You're asking exactly. for all kinds of stuff. I keep moving. You know, my doctor, I sometimes I wonder if he's disappointed. He's like, you have no complaints? I'm like, I have no complaints. He's nothing hurts. I'm like, nothing hurts. He's like, really? Because he's only a few months younger than me. Yeah. Yeah, his, his 50th was a few months after. Yeah. And he ended up having to have some major surgery last week, year, summer. Oh, so wow. He's always like, seriously, you're fine? Yeah. Are you I'm, okay? I'm like, I'm like, I'm just here to check on you. How are you doing? Right. <laughs> How was your surgery? Was it good? Yeah. Oh, that's how, wonderful. How, how was your year? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, he's like, well, what do you do for exercise? I'm like, I roller skate, I bicycle ride, I snorkel, I go to Pilates. He's just looking at me like, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, well, I went to the rheumatologist and they, all they ever want to do is give you medicine. And I'm like, listen, I'm sick and tired of medicine. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. I ended up giving myself injections and this and that and trying different stuff. I'm like, forget it. It's yeah. like, basically, I'm putting poison in my body. What am You're I like doing that for? You're exactly. like a guinea pig. Exactly. Yeah. I told him just, it's okay. I'll deal with the pain on my own. It's called moving. <laughs> so right. that's what I started doing. Do you, and, and do you take I a felt good, better. Do you take a good fish oil? I do. I do. What do you what do you take? Um, I take the nature's nature's made, I believe it's called fish oil. No, not that one. Don't take that one. <laughs> Which one? I'll send it to you. <laughs> All right. I actually have been taking this since my 30s yeah um I actually i've been taking fish oil since then too but i guess not yours so <laughs> like i said a good a good 
a good, a good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people take that, but it's, I actually take a liquid and when it's like, Oh, I'm like, it tastes like lemon. First of all, I don't do liquid meds. So if I'm able to get it down without wanting to vomit, you're fine. Yeah. Um, so it tastes like lemon. Um, Good. It doesn't it, taste like fish. <laughs> no. Oh, good God. No. No, yeah. no. And um, it's because it's liquid, your mm-hmm. body absorbs it better. Okay. Um, it just does a better job. Okay. I'll you have feel, to get it. You feel a difference. Um, yes, it's not cheap, but anything that is cheap isn't the same as you know, I'll have to try it. I see it. So you take those gel caps. I do. That's the brand. I don't take offense. I love you. Mm-hmm. That's the brand I give my dogs. Oh. I do buy it for the okay. dogs. Okay. Because Axel expects fish oil every morning because I'm taking mine. So he sits there and waits patiently. Yeah. So if I give him a pill, he goes away. So I give him a <laughs> pill and he goes away. And then Murphy, because, you know, Roscoe always loved them. Roscoe's like, yeah. it's fish oil pill time. I'm coming. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, you know, yeah. My he dogs don't want to take them. any damn pills. Yeah, no, no. They'll take fish oil. They, he, so I'm out right now. So every morning he sits there and he looks at me and I'm like, so apologetic. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I do not have your fish oil. <laughs> I'm going to have to run and get you some. I apologize. Aww. You know. But I do give them that brand. But that is not what I take for me. So I am currently taking, I take a Paleo Valley Organic Meat Complex. So instead of taking a multivitamin, I take that now. And I've eliminated the multivitamin. And well, I... Multivitamin makes me sick anyway to my stomach. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that one. Yeah. Well, it also depends on the quality and whatnot. Yeah. And again, you know, so I take this. Paleo Valley, grass-fed, organic, organ. Yeah. It doesn't smell like meat. It doesn't taste like meat. They're nothing. Okay. I take them in the morning, and I did their Black Friday deal, and I got some free, they don't call it fish oil. It's called Roe. Oh, okay. And I take one of those a day. I'm not happy with it. Okay. I I rather go back to the Carlson. So I actually will be going to the health food store and buying the liquid again. This was, okay. I got, I started, I stopped because I, oh, they're sending me this. It's supposed to be just, well, I'm sure the health benefits are, but I definitely feel a difference. Okay. And so I'm going back to my liquid that I had been on. So, so you, you, know, you feel a difference how? Uh, it's just, I feel better overall. Um, and because I am active and stuff I just mm-hmm. um I have family members who take it and um who have joint issues and they feel better in their joints okay I feel like I've been told when I take it that my skin's better I just feel better overall overall okay okay so it's it's nothing real specific for me it's skin hair all of it I think the liquid is is better um because it is more absorbable and yeah. agreeable and um it's just a teaspoon a day so that bottle actually would last you a long time you have to refrigerate it once you open it it's fish yeah. oil that's why it's in brown glass bottle and stuff i've been taking it for years even when i so take over their, 30 their, days it'll last over 30 days it does keep it refrigerated right okay you know i take a tablespoon yeah just because in the morning when i'm doing my protein shake and stuff I measure everything out in tablespoons and I'm dumping in my protein shake. Ah, okay. And I just throw in a thing, fish oil, swallow it, and then I put the spoon in the sink and I'm done. So that's how I end up taking a tablespoon. You don't have to. Maybe you would feel better if you took a tablespoon versus a teaspoon. I don't know. Could be, yeah. It's not going to kill you, (laughs) you know? (laughs) No. 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 And it's a good replacement um, for the one that I have now. Yeah. So actually, I'm almost done with the one that I have now. So I'm kind of glad that you told me about that one. Yeah. I'm going to give it a shot. I meant no offense, but I took there, all the offense. <laughs> yes, I did. No, I'm just kidding. I, I have literally been in Walmart and have watched people, just elderly people stocking up. And I'm just like, 
and I have said, I am so, I have, mm. I have stopped them because if you read the article about supplements sold in Walmart, Target, CVS, and all those places, and that's where nature's the brand you take and all that is little to none of what you're taking it for is in the actual eating. They, they did a lab test. Yeah. And yeah. that's well, why that's so good much to know. Everyone's like, it's cheaper. Well, there's a reason it's cheaper. There is a reason. Right. Cause it's not in there. <laughs> it's there's barely any in there. And so yeah. if you're not feeling the benefits of it, there's a reason and the liquid, anything liquid, your body just absorbs better anyways. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I tried a multivitamin liquid. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't. No, no, it's horrible. Oh God. You like eating dirt and mud and grass. Oh animals. yeah. No, no. I know some people do, but no, I don't. <laughs> I mean, the lady legit sold it to me. says, Oh, it tastes pretty good. I don't know. She's a liar. I don't, I don't know what she was on that day. <laughs> it was brown and it does Ew. not taste. I mean, I tried it a few days in a row and after the first time trying it, then I knew what to expect, you know, and it was just made oh, it God. worse. So I just pitched it and I paid good money for it. But I'm like, yeah, you're, you're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. So I take now the Paleo Valley organ meat complex. Grass fed. Does that have a lot of protein in it? I'm assuming it has protein. I not a lot. I don't miss. I mean, they're little capsules. So I, okay. I have to look and take pictures and send it to you. Um, okay. Because I gotta watch with that. You gotta watch stuff, your protein. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah. I just I don't. I'm not fond of their row. I don't think it's anything like fish oil. I don't think. Yeah. I don't feel any different. I don't look any different. I don't think my skin looks any. But I just like. Mm. Yeah, what's the so point I'm, then? I'm finishing it up because it was free. Right. But I. But you're I'm, gonna go back to the other I'm one that you sent me. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'll I'll go. You said you picked it up from where? Just the vitamin uh, store. Sprouts and Nature's Food Patch here has it. Okay, I'll look it up you here know. and see where who has it. Amazon delivers it. <laughs> well, then there you go. I'm an you Amazon know. queen. <laughs> yeah, I am too. And you know, I'm funny about things like. I am a big believer and if it's not broken, don't fix it. So if something works for you and you're happy with it, then do it. Um, and if you, you know, and it's good for you and you know that it's making a difference. So some people be like, oh, you can just take the pills. Well, you have to take more pills to have the same effectiveness as the liquid. As one yeah, teaspoon of the liquid. So you might as well pills. just take the teaspoon of liquid and just down it you just got to get past the fact that it is an oil consistency but it's lemon. no the oil is okay i don't mind the oil it's the taste that gets me the the yeah. consistency i'm okay with yeah it's that it's that you know fishy yeah thing that's it's no, not no it's thank not you fishy it's it's lemony and you know again you know i do my measuring now i take it and then i'm drinking my supplements with my protein shake and i'm washing it all down anyway so yeah Okay. That's how, that's how I do it. it. So yeah, that's how I do it. That's my thing. So, um, with the loss of several family members very close together, I am thankful for every day God gave me, which is a wonderful sentiment. And I'm glad that you made it through all those tragedies. I, I know, I know about them. Me Uh, too. (laughs) You know, but that has nothing to do with taking care of yourself so through all of that you have to still take care of yourself because you have a I know who it was it has a little one so you know yeah you have to yeah of course especially through all those tragedies I mean that has to have a toll on your mind your emotions your everything which then takes turn to have a toll on your body so correct so you got to take care of yourself um, it's part of life, accept it and move on, but enjoy everything about it. Well, yes, it's part of life, obviously, because we don't stay 20 forever. Um, and I do accept it. It is just a number. It has nothing to do with acceptance again. Right. It has nothing to do with accepting. It's just I, re- I just don't want to do things that hurt me. I want to be able to travel and enjoy and, and experience life and not be like, I can't because I can't catch my breath or I well, can't yeah, because, because that, I can't that, walk or I can't. Right. Because, well, at <laughs> our age, that's, that's what we should be doing, you know, living yeah. life and enjoying because we've already spent our whole lives taking care of everybody else yes. and raising children and doing all of that stuff that, you know, it's, it's what 
the life cycle is about, yeah. you know, right now you should be enjoying your life. You should be taking care of yourself. You should be, you know, doing whatever it is that you can to make yourself happy. Yeah. I mean, again, this has nothing to do with accepting it. You have to, no. I mean, you kind of have to accept it because you can't stop it. You're going to age. The question is, how are you doing it gracefully? Right. And how I'm doing it gracefully is I'm just taking better care of myself than I did in my 20s. Yeah. That's, well, that's all. When we were in our 20s, I don't think we even cared about any of that stuff, to be honest. We were too I busy doing other things. Know. I didn't know. I didn't no, know. I didn't know either. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Um, I struggle with this phase. Um, it is an immediate connection to the physical grace to me is learning that there is no that there is so much more of us that gets to grow up than just our bodies. Uh, and all of this is good and keeps getting better. Well, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, I definitely think I like my age. Me too. I, I don't hate being 50, soon to be 51. I don't hate it. Mm-mm. Um, I want more experiences. That's the thing that bothers me. But other than that, I don't mind my age. Um, yeah, there are no, definitely I things don't I want to change in my life, but I, I don't mind my age and I like taking care of myself. So, yeah, me too. I like being the age that I am right now. Um, I have fun. I'm still me. I enjoy yep. my life. Um, I enjoy the time that I spend with my family and uh, I enjoy the time that I go out with my friends and have a good time, too. Yeah. You know, I'm not acting like I'm a 20 year old. No. But at the same time, I'm I'm not acting We're not like playing I'm dead. dying. <laughs> yeah. I'm not acting like I have one foot in the grave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, someone wrote, I quit coloring my hair. They were ready to quit coloring their hair. Kudos to you. Good. Um, and wearing 10 pounds of makeup every day. Kudos to you. Yeah. Um, makeup doesn't necessarily make you look younger, by the way. Oh, um, no. No. Plus, not the way they do it now. No. <laughs> Holy cow. Did you see those videos? I, you know, I can't even watch some of that stuff. Oh but let me, I, I got that ridiculous big screen TV out there. <laughs> that shows everything. <laughs> it shows everything. Yes. So, you know, I like Katherine Heigl. Yes. She's been in, I, I watched the series called Suits, and she was in the last yeah. series, part of it. She was. Last episode. Yeah. Okay. She's not aging as gracefully as you would think. And when she's on that big TV screen, I'm like, oh, my God, she looks awful. <laughs> and I'm not well, being mean. She, but I'm like, she can use a good. A good facial thing and a good, um, a good new a face. A good peel. A good peel. Yeah. Well, I heard that she smokes a lot too does she i heard that was from the last um where was she on she was on that uh, one movie where she was having the baby after she had a one night stand with that guy uh, do, you, do you know that movie yes i do yeah from he's that a big moment, pothead he's a big pothead exactly yeah. so from there they were saying that she actually smokes uh, a lot of cigarettes so that could be why well, it ages you. Yes, that could she's, be why she's wrinkly and agey and all of that it's, stuff. So it's not even that she's wrinkly. It just it doesn't look smooth and healthy. No. It just looks off. Yeah. So, well, you know the ton of makeup that they put on her too. Well, probably, and then so. they're putting the makeup on her, and then you have a big screen TV, and they do a close up. I'm like, oh whoa, yeah. no no, back up. <laughs> Calm down. Look at all those pores. <laughs> like, please. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting there going, she needs a peel. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's funny. Yeah. Because that's cause... what people tell me sometimes. My sister's like, you do for a peel. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll do it. Yeah. I've never had one, you know. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I recommend. Yes. Do you? I do. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. I just well, there's feel different like levels why, of peels. Why is somebody going to put something on my face that's going to peel my face off? <laughs> I don't know. I know I, it okay. sounds ridiculous, right? <laughs> I, I talked about having the melasma. Yeah. Okay. So I, I had it bad in my 30s where it looked like 
I had brown rouge on my cheeks. I had it up here on my forehead. I had it here, right. here, here, a little speckling here, which is a huge part of my face, all that. Right. Okay. And Tasha's like, you need a deep peel. So she gave me this deep peel. It starts with a T. T H C T C H T something something. Three letters. I don't know. There's okay. a C, a T H and a T. I don't remember the order of them. <laughs> and she's like, it's gonna be like a bad sunburn. Yeah. Okay. So I've had bad sunburns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This so was a, this was a little bit more than a bad sunburn, just mm-hmm. FYI. Um, to get rid of melasma and get it under control, the hyperpigmentation, you have to pull it out. Yes. Um, so they, she puts the first layer on and you're like, okay, it tingles. That's what yeah. they call it in esthetician world. I laugh now. My poor esthetician, she laughs at me. I'm like, oh yeah, it tingles. Tatiana. Right. It tingles. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> you mean burn? So, so <laughs> <laughs> right. By the time she hits the fourth layer on my face, mm-hmm. I'm like, if you don't neutralize it, I'm punching you in your effing face. Oh, my God. It's like being put on fire. And the minute she sprays the neutralizer, it stops. Also, that's when your face starts to frost. You you can't get to past that point. That's when your skin starts to turn white. It cannot handle anymore. And you have to neutralize it so you don't damage. There, You okay. have to have a good esthetician. Right. Okay. Now, I've had other peels with Tatiana where I didn't peel. And it wasn't like that at all. And it maintains and keeps everything nice. So, you, But it took me a week to recover from that peel. And it legit, all the darkness came out of my skin and would just, you can't peel it off your face. It has to fall. No, it has to fall. why I couldn't go to yeah. walk. I couldn't go to work because I had hunks of, and I would cut what was hanging, but, you know, I wouldn't get near what was still attached and wasn't willing to let go. Sure. And it was like having a new face. I kid you not. Really? I actually had that done twice. Mm-hmm. I gave I think, birth to I two think children afraid... with no drugs, by the way, and I'd rather yeah. do that again than that. But I, I did it. You have a good esthetician. Um, and now I do other peels that don't aren't like that to maintain because stuff. you don't, I don't need, have yeah, you I don't, don't need, need that, that drastic. Yeah. But if I had the darkness again, I would do it again with a good esthetician. Um, and I, and that's... I'm I think I'm afraid like if that would happen to me that I'll have like a really strange reaction and I don't know why I just because it's your face no it's yeah I know I was worried yeah you know she worked under a doctor for I forget how many years and so yeah I trusted her and she did a good job I didn't have any adverse effects from it and any reactions um it it just it's very tingly yeah <laughs> Don't know how else to describe it to you. It's uh Is it as bad as getting a tattoo? Have you ever had a tattoo? I have a tattoo. Yeah. Did you not see my tattoo? I don't think I did. In my bikini, because that's the only way you can see it. (laughs) Yeah, I don't I don't think I did. No. I have a tattoo. That was annoying. This is I it's I guess it depends on the part of your body you're getting tattooed. Like you have one on your wrist. I would think that's sensitive. It is very sensitive. It's yes. your skin is different there. It's yes. bony there. You have mm-hmm. veins there. So I would imagine. And it burned. I, yeah. Okay. So yeah. I, mine is between my belly button and my hip bone. Okay. And I just remember thinking this is annoying. Annoying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The one on my wrist burned. So yeah. I can, I can imagine probably, but yeah, that's, that's so maybe this is your of- whole face. Maybe when I come down to Florida for a couple of weeks, I'll go and do that with your person. You can do a, a good peel with my person. I, she doesn't do that peel, by the way. Okay. But she does other peels that are just as good that will do. She she maintains my hyperpigmentation. Okay. Like I when I went to the dermatologist in October, she's like, yeah, see you in two years. You, you've got it so well under control. Um, yeah. So there are other peels. Like the one she did, I did flake all over okay Mm -hmm. but it was flaking you just did this and it was gone and you just did this and it was gone and that you can do um others there was no flaking she's like you'll be a little pinkish right after yeah it didn't even burn okay it feels good you know so there are other ones you can do that aren't that deep deep pill i was battling a lot at once and really the only way 
she said to get it under control was to pull it out. To pull so it out. Yeah. That's what we did. Okay. Well, maybe. You might have just talked me into it. I don't know. We'll see. I will take you to go see Tatiana. Okay. <laughs> she will take good care of you. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. Um, uh, then someone just simply wrote wine. <laughs> wine, yes. <gasps> wine wine does help. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, say no to that. Yes. Uh, wine does, what does help. Um, yeah. Uh, and someone wrote, I refuse to grow old quietly. I like that. I do too. Very spunky. Mm-hmm. We have shirts yeah. made. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. No, I uh, like that a lot. Someone wrote, drink and color my hair. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, embrace it, stay active, maybe a little Botox support. Yeah. Again, if, if you're that's into what it, you choose, yeah. Then have at it. Um, uh, rarely wear makeup. Foundation accentuates wrinkles, which kind of what we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, gloss and mascara, mascara are great. I've been adding lashes. Then I get just a blush or none at all. Add gloss and go. If you need to get rid of shine, either use super lightweight foundation or a setting powder. Also, lotion every day. I don't always mm-hmm. moisturize my face, but I should. I also add some Oswella, which is actually um, frankincense. Yes. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, essential oil. Yeah. Um, around the eyes. It gets, um, and she gets hers from Young Living. This isn't for Young Living. Uh, yes, I have some diffusers from Young Living, essential oils from Young Living. I am now using Revive. It's They don't have salespeople, so it's half price and the same quality. Okay, there you go. Um, to tighten up around the eye area. So I'm actually going to try that with some frankincense. Uh, my body, including my neck, um, they moisturize fully after every shower. Also add a tiny bit of color for a few to the few grays. So moisturizing is a big thing. I use um, one yeah, of my favorite I... body oils is Eminence. Eminence is from Switzerland. It's organic. It's well over 50 years old. Um, it's all their products taste like you can eat them. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever tried, but oh my God, you have no idea. So they have an apricot body oil Oh. and um, it smells amazing and it's organic and your skin just absorbs it. So you're not oily. It's, and it just, it's a healthy moisturizer. You know, if your skin absorbs it in, you need the moisturizer. I just don't Definitely, like yeah. thick cakey lotions that no. make like film and stuff. You're, that's not good for your skin. Your skin needs no. to breathe. And all that. So I kind of like these body oils. I have a lavender one I'm currently using from a different company. It's okay. I I didn't reorder Eminence, so I thought I'd try this because I love lavender. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been putting it on before bed because it's supposed mm-hmm. to be, you know, sleep and relax. So lavender is one sure. of my favorite scents. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I like it. It's fine. I don't love it. So I'll go back to the Eminence. Yeah. Um, and I do like the Revive essential oils. They're, you know, I'm getting lavender, pure organic lavender for half of what I was elsewhere. So, yeah, I'll have to look some of that up. I like to put some essential oils in my uh, diffuser. So, yeah, I diffuse. I have one next to my bed. I have one in here. Yeah. Um, if my daughter hadn't stolen the dresser, it'd be up and running, but she took it. <laughs> 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 so I don't have a place to put it right now. Right. And I have one in the living room. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I like the fact that she stated um, about like how much makeup she puts on. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of makeup. I like makeup. Uh, I like to do, you know, my eyes and everything like that. But I agree with her about not putting on all of that, like, cakey stuff on your face. I mean, nowadays, they're like, put the white under your eyes and put this on this and that on this. And then before you know it, you have, like, 10, 20 layers on. Well, that's like, too much. Like, uh, in your Florida, it just melts off. And, yeah. you know... um, like I said on TV, not that we're on TV, but it it doesn't make things pretty. 
And when you mm-hmm. are talking to someone up close and they have a lot of makeup on, you can tell it's, it's distracting. It, it is. is. It's um. It, you well, can especially tell. Especially because I'm it's looking. Not I'm blended. like, oh my gosh. Yes. Well, when you get this. Right here, you got to blend it in, ladies. Yeah. yeah, do it down your neck, please, yep. for the love of God. <sighs> like, you don't want two shades, you know, difference. Yeah. But right. yeah, but I agree with her. I think um, as I'm getting older now, um, I still do like to do my eyes uh, nice, you know, whatever cat eye that I like to do. Um, but I found myself just sometimes doing, like she said, the mascara and some gloss and that's about it. And that kind of still brightens up your face without having all that cakey stuff on your face. So, well, I can't do mascara. I've tried them all. Um, and my eyes, I just want to rip them out of my head. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just, my eyes don't like any of it. It can be yeah. organic from the health food store. Some people like you can make it. I'm not making it. I don't want to make it. I'll buy it at the health food store. Um, mm-hmm. My eyes, my eyes hate mascara anymore. Yeah. Um, and because I don't do mascara, I don't do eyeshadow. <coughs> yeah. I do use um, some uh, several days a week a BB cream or a CC cream. It's real light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to even tone. Weekends, I wear nothing. Yeah. Except yeah. my hemp oil. I do mm-hmm. do my hemp oil twice a day. I do it in the morning after I shower and wash my face and stuff. Mm-hmm. I do my rose water toner, and then I do my hemp oil. I do a vitamin C, and then I do my hemp oil. Mm-hmm. Um, at night, I sleep in my hemp oil. Yeah. So I do utilize my hemp oil a lot. So I like yeah. it. Mm-hmm. It smells good. I make it and it's, it's good ex- for you and it's not expensive. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Um, definitely as you get older, less is more. Absolutely. I agree with that. Someone just wrote naturally. They just great age naturally, naturally, gracefully, yeah. naturally. And that's really the best way to do it. I'm not doing anything horrific. I just take care of me. You're just taking care of you. Yeah. Uh, someone wrote, Grace is not a part of my DNA, but I accept me as me, embrace each of my 63 years, and hope for at least 20 more. There you go. I know who wrote that. She's a riot. Yeah. She's a riot. That's why she said Grace is not in my genes. <laughs> She's very funny and clever. Yeah. She's actually an attorney. Ooh. And, uh, yeah. And so. Um, Anna. Yeah, she's a neat lady, and uh, I felt bad for her. Uh, her son and my son were good friends in high school, mm-hmm. and um, and then her husband ended up needing you – know, he had shortness of breath one weekend. She took him to the ER. He ended up needing a lung transplant. Oh, wow. He had – I forget whatever he had, and the only way to fix it is a lung transplant. Oh, wow. And he ended up at Shands, I believe, mm-hmm. and he ended up getting his lungs – it ended up not working out. Oh. Yeah. That sucks. Sorry. That was, just, that was just a few years ago he passed. Oh. I mean, can you imagine you're fine one day you can't catch your breath and you yeah. could have a lung transplant? I know. How bizarre is that? You know? I mean. It's crazy bizarre. Yeah. Out of so, nowhere. Mm-hmm. He spent like a year in the hospital. By the time they got him through everything and testing mm-hmm. Waiting on lungs that might be compatible and and lung transplants are not easy. No, I know they are not. Yeah, none easy. of them are, but I think they do better with hearts than they do with lungs. They do, yeah, and kidneys. You know. Yeah, so yeah, for the most um, part. Yeah, so you know she actually looks good. She has pretty skin. She's a pretty face, so you know. But she's she's a riot. She's a nice lady. So that was the answer to, um, you know, our growing old gracefully. <laughs> aging Yay. gracefully. Aging. I'm sorry, aging <laughs> gracefully. We have to be delicate. Aging. Okay. <laughs> I'm not delicate. You know that. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I'm trying to teach you. It's so. not in my DNA like what's her name said. <laughs> 
I think sometimes I'm a little blunt, you know, like when it comes to talking, I'm just, you know, I just say what it is. I don't know. I know I am. So I want to let you know that I talked to the lady who waxes me is Egyptian. Ooh. Did you ask her? I didn't ask her. No, no, I would not do that. She's, you know, she's, she's private. Yes. So pretty there ha- a lot of they're them having are, yeah. a hard time with their freshman college daughter sure um and dealing with being here in the United States and their culture so um they're budding heads and it's a struggle yeah of course it's going to be a struggle you know they they want her to act like she's in Egypt when she's and not. she's not yeah I've been raised here and I've tried to mm delicately be like you guys got to meet in the middle or you're going to keep doing this or she's going to go away and I mean she came home from spring break and then ended up going back to her dorm early so I mean well um, and that's what's going to happen is they're going to end up driving her away and they don't understand that she doesn't live in Egypt your mind is in Egypt her mind is here yeah you know so and and um she said that was not done to her daughters she would not allow that she did. Uh, she, she's Muslim too. I, I didn't don't ask. know. She okay. just said that on her own. She offered that. Mhm. She just said I would not a- allow that to happen. So I don't know if she was just speaking in general terms. She asked me like where Mon specifically was from. She said because she must be from the, you know, she knew she's like and it's and it's barbaric and. Well, um, Iman's from Cairo. Yeah. So. She was talking about um, how it's frowned upon nowadays and that, you know, it's against the law. Yeah. And they're trying to stop it all together. And, you know. Well, yeah, that's it's it's a man made thing, you know, that's that's a man made thing. And um, it's good to hear a different perspective. I mean, given that she's Egyptian, so Mm -hmm. to know that, you know, she. She didn't um, offer if she was or not, and I didn't yeah. ask. Yeah. I felt bad enough for her struggling with the daughter. Oh, with the daughter, yeah. And, well, it like you and said. And then, and then the the sad thing is the youngest is learning from the oldest. So. Of course, mm-hmm. of course. And if she's she can't have the mother cannot have her mind in Egypt. They have to move forward with the time. Yeah. And I'm not saying that she's going to go let her daughter, you know, sleep over a guy's house or she's going to move in oh, with no, a guy no, no. or anything like that. She can still keep her traditions just like I kept mine. And I still like I'm, you know, super proud to be who I am, to be a Lebanese woman, um, to have those traditions growing up. Um, but at the same time, my mother and I did butt heads um, because. I was, you know, practically raised here. I went to school here, raised here, did everything here. So my my thinking in my mind is a little bit different, you know, and they wanted to keep us sheltered and not do anything. And that kind of made me rebel. Well, and, so, I, and I said, but you brought her and raised her here. Right. I don't for a know better if they life. were born there or not. I don't know. And. Well, what did she say when you when you told her that? Their mind, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. It doesn't matter if they bring them here or not. Their mind is still back there. Well, and that's the thing. She yeah. was born and raised over there. So, you know, she's trying, she's stuck in the middle. Yeah. She feels, she's trying to whisper because they left, but they came back. And she's like, mm-hmm. you know. I know we're here and blah, blah, blah. When she talks about Americans, she makes it sound like we're bad. And I told her tonight, we're all from somewhere. Yeah. You know, my mom wouldn't have been here if her dad didn't come over from Sicily. Right. You know. Yeah, it's I mean, the melting pot. It's, it's yeah, we're all from somewhere. And she's mm-hmm. like, that's true. And so I guess the daughter told the mom she had a boyfriend. And they've been dating like a month. Yes, oh it'll look on your God. face. And then the mom's like, you have to tell your dad. You can't just tell me and then want, expect me to keep it a secret from my husband. 
And, you know, so she told the dad and they're already butting heads and not getting along. Well, and she's telling me, you know, he the boyfriend has to give her like a promise ring. I'm like, they've been dating a month. You're going to say no, but they don't any opportunities. Well, if they're out in public, if they're out in public and anyone from our culture sees them and there's no like ring on her finger of any kind of promise, it is. It's, you know, like you said, it's what everyone else thinks. Exactly. And her daughter do- and their daughter already told this guy, I don't have sex until I'm married. And he's half Pakistani and half something else. And okay. he was OK with that. And he's like, that's fine. But he's scared to meet the dad. Well, no I'm shit. Like, I'm like, you can't you can't be like, you got to get her a ring. How is she? You, it, it's well, a month. if he's if he's it's a from, month. I know, but if he's from that culture, their culture thinks the same way too. Yeah, but so, see, I don't know, like if he was born over there or just raised here, and he's just right. half and half, and I don't know how strict. You know, what I'm saying how strict my, his family yeah. upbringing was. Like, yeah, my grandfather was Italian. Yeah, he is Catholic. Yeah. Okay. He and my grandmother got divorced. That is a no-no. Correct. So all of a sudden, my mom and my uncle Mike did not exist. Right. Correct? Correct. Old Catholic. Okay. Correct. Correct. So when my mom had polio, he came by to see her. That was the last time my mom saw him. And she mm-hmm. was like three-ish when she had polio. Yeah. And he wanted to make sure she had everything she needed. And then he just disappeared. And he got remarried. And like... That family does not know we exist. And by the yeah. way, with all this stuff I'm doing, that will change. Yes. Just because. Oh, yeah, the family, they're going to know. Absolutely. They're going to know. Absolutely. They're in Chicago, by the way, which, you know, Italians in Chicago don't always mix. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other story. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, um, yeah. So he did what was, I guess that's religion then or is that culture and religion or just more cultural to be like it's more religion I think it's more Um, religion the catholic part correct right yeah so you know so he did he did what was religious angry might make my mom angry but again she was born and raised here yes well and and I understand where this um this young girl is coming from too because I kind of lived that life I, you yeah. almost live a double life. Yeah. You know, you go to school, you have all your American friends and everything's great and everything's cute and everything's fine. And then you go home and then it's like, you can't do this. Don't do this. Make sure you don't do this. Everybody's watching you. Make sure that, you know, you don't um, perceive yourself in front of everybody as a bad person. You have to be this good person. You can't talk too much. You can't this. You can't. Like, it was like too many you can'ts. Yeah. Well, and I told her about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, the shame. I said, no. I said, you know, they love her daughter. They helped raise her daughter. Um, right. But but you see how they thought about it right away. The shame. Well, here's the thing. The girl's in college. I think she's going to be an engineer. Why the hell did you tell either one of your parents? Exactly. Get to know him, knowing how well, it is in your culture. And, you know, she told him before she told the, anyone in her family that she doesn't have sex till she's married. And he was OK with that. Fine. She did her part. Mm-hmm. But get to know him before you have to tell the mom. I would have. That would have been. Yeah, because it was only a couple of months. I mean, a month, one month. A month. One OK, month. yeah, that's too soon. That's too like, early. That's too soon. Like, is this I her first have... boyfriend? far as I know. Uh, that's probably why. I wouldn't have told them. No, They're I would not scare have. them away. You're going to scare everyone away. You're, this is the United States. He's not thinking that way. The boyfriends I, that I had when I was younger, no one knew about. Yeah. And that was it. That's it. Yeah. Because I, there's no way I could tell them. Yeah. I mean, for Christ's sake, my mom caught me talking to a boy. I had a big welt on my thigh the next day. Yeah. Like, just talking to a boy. I mean, I wasn't yeah. doing anything. Yeah. I was standing outside the rec center. He was on his bike, and I said hello to him. 
she found me there with my brother. And then it was like all hell broke loose just because I was talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I understand I that in their mind, they're in Egypt, but you're not. You came here because you you may not have wanted female circumcision. You may have not wanted this. You may have whatever. Right. And I don't know. I just, I just. I think well, that they, they would be more they, accepting or trying to, I, I told her, you guys got to learn to meet in the middle. It can't all just be dad's way in Egypt when you're in the United States and it can't all just be her way. You guys got to have some kind of meeting of the minds. You right. Know? But here's, here's what it is. If they only surround themselves with Egyptians and they only um, have friends who are from, if she, if they are, um, well, they keep talking. She talks Christians? about the church all the time. The church. Okay. So they must be Christians then. They're not Muslim. So if she is constantly talking about um, going to church and having all these friends and stuff like that, she's not worried about her daughter. She's too worried about what everyone else is going to say. That's both of the parents, unfortunately. So it's like her, their daughter is insignificant when it comes to that. They just don't want her to bring any shame to the family because then their family will be yes. talked about. Well, that's just gossip. That's everyone. Well, does it. they do it here. And, they do it there. But, <laughs> but in the Arabic world, it's different. In the Arabic world, it's like deadly. It is, unfortunately. Like it's it's about everyone else except who it's really about it needs to be about correct so in other words she should be protecting her daughter rather than thinking about what everyone else thinks you know but then again she's probably surrounding herself with all the people from church and they probably oh, yeah. hang out much, at church she very much everything is i'm scared for i'm scared for i'm scared for is a, a big phrase she uses i'm scared for yeah so um yeah, it's a, it's a big, fr- she's, she's wonderful. I absolutely enjoy my hour with her hour and a half yeah. when I see her um, and we talk and she, you know, and I told her, you know, my daughter has, has made choices and she's made her bed and she has to lie in it and she knows it. And she's, but you have to parent. I said, I always parent. If my daughter says something to me, I give my two cents and it's something she thinks about and the ball's in her court. She's 26 for the love of God, I told her. I said, well, I cannot make her do anything. Yeah, but it doesn't matter what age. That's the problem. No. Is that you know. to, to us, it w- doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah. I still parent when she opens but, that door for me, too. I correct. know I I respect when she's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want my mom in my business all the time, either. So, I well, respect. Here's the difference between parenting and controlling. OK, mm-hmm. she doesn't want to parent her daughter. She wants to control, to control. her daughter. There's a difference. Mm-hmm. Parenting someone is like what you're doing. The doors open when she wants your opinion. She will ask you for it. You're there for her. You're taking care of her to a certain point. You're not overbearing and you're not trying to control every situation that she's in. In the Arabic world. The parents are constantly controlling the kids and they raise you up to be that way. Because that's how they're doing it. So that's what the kid sees and lives and experience. So it's it's just a vicious cycle. It is a vicious cycle. Yeah, because that's how they were raised. Their parents were also controlling. You know, so it's unfortunate. Um, uh, I used to always like. I didn't control my daughter growing up because I told I said I would never want her to grow up the way I did, where everything was no, everything was taboo, everything was don't do this, don't do that. You'll be shamed. You'll be this. You'll be that. And and the guilt trip. Okay, Mm -hmm. so I tried my best not to raise my daughter that way. And of course, I heard it from, you know, my mom. Um, The one day she was, I think, like. 15 and she wanted to go bowling with her friends and uh that's actually 15 16 I think that's when when she was also dating her husband who is her husband now (laughs) 
So um, he would come and pick her up from the house and I'd made sure, you know, that he was he had to do that. Like he cannot just beep for her and she's running outside of the house. No, he has to come. There are certain things that I kept traditional, um, but I let her go. You know, but and I made sure that I would talk to her and explain that she's a woman and explain what goes on and doing all of that stuff. That's something that I never got when I was younger. I I did the opposite of what was done with me to mine. Yep. Yeah. So I raised mine a little bit different. um, And I think uh, I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, she's she's a wonderful person. I love her to death. She's like my beating heart. You know, um, but also to be able to give them that independence a little bit without having to worry what other people are thinking. Like, I don't really give a shit what other people are thinking. Well, that's what I told her. I said, I don't care what my neighbor down the road thinks on how I parent my child. Exactly. Right. I mean, they're not paying my bills. Correct. Ultimately, the choice is in her hands. Correct. You know, I I said my piece. She knows what I think about things. She knows how I feel about things. When she wants the opinion, she seeks it. And when she's yep. done, she closes that door and I know it. And I yeah. step back. I have my say. So she always knows where I am at. Yeah. She always knows that I will be there so, for her. So question, did she ever mention about them marrying young? Does she ever say anything about she she's not. trying to get her daughter she, married? She, she did not. And what was funny was I mentioned the fact that I had married young and how my mom was and how forceful my mom was about things and how my mom set things up. And she automatically that Egyptian mind. And I was like, no, I stopped her. I said, no. (laughs) Oh, I did. I said, this is, this is America and not everyone. No, I said, right. Yeah. (laughs) No, (laughs) I don't know if I can say that enough. Yes. I was getting frustrated trying to explain it to her. <laughs> yeah, like, well. I'm like, no, no, that's manipulative. It's, it's, you're manipulating, you're being, you're lying to me. Correct. You're, no, no. And you're controlling <laughs> me to do whatever Correct. you want to do. Correct. And I said, right. um, I would have never survived in your country if me no. as me, being as, as outspoken as I am about what's right and what's wrong, mm-hmm. I would have never survived. They would hung me from the tree. <laughs> right. Well, and that's why they're they all grow up the same way and they all grow up with those same exact values because they value um, other people before they value themselves. And that's unfortunate for me to say, you yeah. know, but it's the truth. Instead of valuing yourself and knowing what you're worth. You're basing it on what other people's worth of you are or is, which is wrong. Who cares about those mother freakers? Nobody cares. I know. And I tried to tell her that. I just said nah, it's, it's no it's one's hard. business. And I know for her it's cultural, but I, I kept telling her it's no one's business. It's right. no one's business. And right. um, I don't know. I, I don't understand why you're here. If you want to force certain things on them, your children, yeah. your family, continue that. It's exhausting time. to live a double life. It's exhausting to live. Uh, a I would imagine life. it is because it is. you're yeah. wanting to just be what you consider normal here. Yeah. And this is where you're growing up and this is your home. I mean, if they wanted you to be true, true, true to it all, then you sh- just they should have just kept you in Lebanon. Exactly. You know, so what's the point of bringing you here? Yeah, I just, I don't know. And I get one says it's cultural. It's cultural. I, I understand that. And I don't, Mm -hmm. I just, I have a hard time wrapping my head around it. Yeah, it's, it's, it is cultural and to a certain point, but it's more like what you said earlier. It's, it's more manipulative. Yeah. It's it, not, it truly it's is. not a it's, matter of traditions anymore. No. It's a, it's a matter of it's being control controlling. Yes. But she exactly. agreed. It's definitely a man's world. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. hundred percent. She's whispering it to me. She said it herself. Yeah. I said, yes. I said, well, what do you expect? Well, you She's should like, see, you should hear what her husband was in the building. Me. 
Oh, her, her husband was, was the there. Yeah, she music. can't say that in front of him. No, no God forbid. No. She can't even speak her mind in front of her husband, for Christ's sake. Well, you know what's funny? This is her business, and she runs it. He's seldom there. And, you know, he'll ask her a question, and she tells him, and he does it. Okay. And I don't know if that's just because it's her business, you know. I I think it's because um she – it is her business, and it's part of his life, too. Like, yeah. as far as money goes and business-wise yeah. goes. I mean, he doesn't know about waxing legs and all that. So he's well, no, just, of course not. He's, he's just there. You know, she answers the phone mostly in her ear and stuff as she's waxing and whatnot. But um, he helps out with some things. He cleans up. He was redoing sure. some posters in the window for her tonight and, and yeah. whatnot and stuff. So, yeah, you know, I, I just kind of want to say, you know, he left for a while because of the tension with the oldest daughter so you so you, you leave the, you take the cowardly way out you left you left wife. where oh he went to italy and stuff with friends for months months last year months <laughs> like he left like august september and the and one she's daughter okay with that well i don't does she have a choice I mean, I guess not if it's a man's I, world, but I, that's not. I mean, they're, they're mm-hmm. Egyptian. I don't know. You tell me. And then I remember going mm-hmm. in, you know, the one daughter was, who has a good relationship with him, was worried if he was kind of be home for her birthday in January. Oh so he God. was gone months, five, six, seven months total by the time all was said and done. And, um, and left her with all the stresses over here, and he didn't get. So she's running a business, a running a household, hoot. and dealing with two teenage daughters. Right. And he's a teacher, and he's not teaching, so I'm assuming he's not bringing in money. Well, he must not be a very smart teacher f- to leave his family like that for months. Well, so here's my thing, and how snarky I am. If you leave me for months because you don't know how to handle or cope with your child. <clears throat> and you don't seek the right avenues to fix it or make it better or learn to compromise, don't ever act like you're going to tell me what to do. No, exactly. <clears throat> and don't come back. Excuse me. Right? And don't come back. Leave. It's the Please. cowardly way out. I don't get a break. So Does the mother wrong. ever get a break? No. She's no. showing me pictures and stuff, and he's traveling and sending her videos without a care in the world. And she's over here worried about paying the bills, their mortgage, the rent on the place for her business. <coughs> okay, so, so let me tell you something real quick. And and I've seen this mainly with, um, and I don't want to down any Egyptian people, you know, I have a lot of Egyptian friends. But at the same time, I've seen this happening with a lot of Egyptian people where the men, um, the women work harder than the men. Oh, I'm not shocked. Yeah. The men can go gallivanting and doing whatever the hell they want. And basically the women are there to take care of them in all aspects. Yeah. No. Even Even financially. A girlfriend. Yeah. And she can have them. Exactly. (laughs) Which makes life easier. Right. (laughs) Well, and then what kind of what kind of a marriage do you have after that? Like, I mean, I for me. Well, I'm sorry. Like, mm mm-hmm. Then she, he came back, and then he took her away for two weeks to Italy and someplace else to try and repair their marriage. But it was never really broken to begin with, was it? Well, if he you broke left, it, he broke you, it. If you left because you didn't know how to parent and you didn't try to stay with your wife to parent the child you guys created together he are they broke in their something. 40s are they in I their 40s so. i believe yeah, so yeah they got married young they like did. they normally do yeah yeah all of them they get married so how trustworthy 18, would you 19, believe 20. Him? i wouldn't that's my thing is you can't tell me you're gone six seven months and you're not hooking up with someone somewhere right i wouldn't trust him i wouldn't and we can get on a whole nother level over here because then it's like 
you're all about the church and you're sitting and you're praying and you're this and you're that. And then you're going and gallivanting. You abandon your family and then this and that. it's just the whole mess. Yeah. Yeah. It's if a, I, it's a whole, whole mess. And I'm I mean, just here, she doesn't and, really and need she, him to be honest. No, she's doing she, everything for herself anyway. She is. And yeah. she was so stressed and the holidays were approaching and I, I felt bad for her. Yeah. You know, cause she didn't have her family together and you know, he's in Italy sending her pictures of gelato. And I'm just like, I would have been like, Egg, yeah, here's your gelato. <laughs> here's your gelato, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back. Right. But then, you know, like she, like in her mind, she's thinking, if he, oh, no, no. if he I don't a break. accept him, he needed yeah. a break. Again. Why did he? Right, because he had the children out of his vagina, and he needed a break. <laughs> and because, my God, it's all this stress, you know. Yeah, Mm -hmm. right. No, that's that's bullshit. I'm sorry. That's bull crap. I I told you a little bit about that when it was happening. You did. Yeah, that's bull crap. That's bull crap. That's the first time I've seen him in a long time was tonight. Wow. Oh, well, maybe she'll wake up one day. What am I going to tell you? Or maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? So with that, um, as far as I know. This week, we're going to be doing a second recording with a guest on. Ooh. Um, yeah, uh, she's someone I know. Um, we're going to call it Scarlet Letter. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm calling it Scarlet Letter. Yes, it's a bonus I like episode, it. the Scarlet Letter. And uh, she's going to come on and talk about her affair. Very good. Um, with that being said, we have to remember, we don't walk in anyone else's shoes, but our own. Correct. And having her here doesn't mean that neither one of us or either one of us are saying, go cheat. No. Um, again, she's just a guest coming on and letting us know her life. I did this. I wanted to do this podcast for women to support women because we don't ever know what the other's going through. So when people are so shocked to find out about my childhood and the fact that I grew up the way I did and that I didn't show it, I didn't hide it, I that I hid it and I didn't talk about it um, because it was embarrassing and I felt alone and I felt like I couldn't. Right. And that's a lot for someone who's nine years old to keep inside. Absolutely. For years. And not know what to do with it and not have anyone to talk to about it. Mm -hmm. Trying not to create any more stress for the mom. Mm -hmm. Trying to stay away from the dad. You know, uh, not really close with the oldest sister ever. She just is kind of there as part of the family because she, you know, is there. But I have no bond with her. Right. The middle sister I could talk to is now deceased. So um, it's to support her. She doesn't really have anyone. And. Mm -hmm there are factors that go into everything. So I don't want anyone to think or be mean or hateful or spiteful. She is an emotional person. She's kind to me. Um, I like her. Right. And we she shouldn't be judgmental laugh. anyway. Correct. It's not my job. No, I don't walk in her shoes and uh, I'm not going to say anything more about it, except she's going to tell us whatever she's comfortable with telling us. She'll probably be on more than once. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, Something to look forward to. It is because everyone comes from different walks of life. Yeah, exactly. And we are all programmed. It's a vicious cycle. It is. Yeah. Whether it's cultural, religion. Porches, whatever it whatever. is whatever yeah yeah so you know back in the day I always thought oh my god you must be the worst person in the world if you have an affair well when you talk to some women and their situations and things that happen and connections they make so they don't feel so alone and they feel mm-hmm. like they have someone you know then you kind of start to you start to listen and you start to realize you know they're human too and you didn't realize all the stuff was going on behind closed doors I lived right you know when I was going through what I was going through, I really felt like I was the only one in the world going through it. 
Right. Because no one in my neighborhood was going through it and nothing was ever talked about. So, you know. Well, well, yeah, you just, never met anybody that was going through it either. So, Or they like, didn't talk about do, it either. Or they didn't talk about it either. So yeah. I, I wouldn't know. I would no. not know. So no. we're here to support. Um, like I said, she's good to me. I enjoy talking to her on a regular basis. And um, she makes me laugh. She's a pretty funny girl. And yeah, um, yeah she's a great mom. And uh, things happen in life. So. We will, uh, we had set the date for this week. I have not confirmed it with her. I will text her tomorrow and okay, and uh, see what's what. But uh, okay, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, let she, me know. Something she has to look birthday parties to. going on with her kids, and she's got graduation yeah. stuff going on. Her daughter's graduating this year, so she's got stuff going on and family coming and going. Dad just got out of the hospital the other night, and yeah, so she's got stuff going on life like the rest of us. So, yeah. Very cool. Um, Something to look but, forward to, guys. Yeah. Um, but so. we enjoy you guys listening all the time. Um, we appreciate it and we thank you very much. Um, hit the subscribe button for us so that you guys can hear um, further episodes that we will be having and any other bonus episodes that are coming up. Um, we hope that you're enjoying those bonus episodes like we are. Um, I think we have, we've had a bunch of uh, great guests that um, we've had on the podcast. So uh, looking forward to some more and looking forward to this week. And uh, if you guys have any comments or anything that you would like to hear us talking about, please um, leave it down uh, in the comment section or you can email Char. Um, what is it at Girlfriend Minute? Girlfriend Minute. 23 at gmail.com and with that being said knowing that we have a guest coming on and it's called a scarlet letter <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was kind of clever actually it, it is her, i like it, it it was her idea by the way so um uh you can email any question you may want me to ask her on the show with that being said it has to be tasteful yes yeah i won't read it i mean no, it's just, if it's rude it's just, and, and just stupid, no, forget it. Not yeah. to say that, you know, we're here to judge stupid or not stupid, but if it's well, distasteful well, if, and it's rude, it's not going to be, are. it's not going to be said. Yeah, kind it's not going to be said. So this isn't everyone's yep. podcast. So, you know, someone's no. got to be, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's the saints going, yeah, we're not doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll leave it up to you. You let them know exactly where we're on and we're everywhere just to let you know. <laughs> well, we are. Well, kind of. We're trying to be Spotify, Amazon, <laughs> Samsung podcast, podcast index, listen notes, Apple, Google, Pandora, TuneIn, iHeart, Deezer, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. I think that's it. I think Facebook. so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> hit us up. Come on. Everybody right. hit us up. Come and listen. So. Let us know your thoughts. Always good talking to you. You as well, my dear. It is 2.14 a.m. Very good. That's yes. still better. It's not three. It's <laughs> <laughs> But see, we hang up here, then we go back on here. I know. We're doing the downloading thing. So, yes. <laughs> so it will get three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get to be three. But that's yeah. all good. You're yes. my Friday night date. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Same here. Yep. I couldn't, all right. I couldn't do better. Okay, yeah. my dear. <laughs> okay. I'll see you on the iPad. Okay. See ya. Bye.